knows that he is now dying, but they don't know why, they don't know what to do. Julian Davies from Australia. If we fight together, we can save the world. A better environment for a better tomorrow. To move towards a sustainable future, we must first move together. To move towards a sustainable future, we must first move together. So we've got 12 participants from the UK, Brazil, Austria, Mexico, Denmark, Sweden, Switzerland, Costa Rica and Saudi Arabia. And in answer to the question, what makes uh, CELO Earth unique? We said that it's it's all inclusive and it covers the whole spectrum of living organisms, so it includes everything. Uh, how can it inspire people? Uh, by leading by example and uh, giving personal connections to how it's going to how what how it's going to affect me uh, as uh, as well as and my local area as well as um, on a global scale. My name is Joseph Evans and I'm from the UK in Birmingham, which is right slap bang in the middle, um, in, in a town called Solihull, which is just below Birmingham. Right? In our patrol, we have nine people, and one is from the UK, which is me. We have one from Australia, there, one from Iceland, there, two from Sweden, but we only have one here at the moment, and one from Brazil, down at the bottom there, one from Mexico, one from El Salvador, and the Netherlands, finally. Okay, the first question we were asked was, what are the strengths of the organisation? And what we came up with was, caring about everything, not just humans or just one specific animal. Um, the ambition of the company is good. And finally, for the slogan, we came up with, be prepared. Oh, be prepared. No, you get it? Yeah, you get it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't expect that to be Well, I'm Simon Moser, and we had uh, to prepare uh, some questions about the uh, organization, about patrol, one from Netherlands, one from Australia, one from Canada, one from Great Britain, and me from Switzerland. And the strength of the organization, we think, is there's a nice flag, and as a slogan, uh, we thought, one earth, one flag. Thank you. My name is Bessie Valle. I'm from Honduras. Uh, we're at the MOOT 2013 in Canada. And uh, we're just done with the presentation of CELO Earth. So we had four questions that we needed to answer. First question is how is CELO Earth different? And I think we all agreed in that um, the purpose of CELO Earth is actually to promote um, and make people conscious about renewable living and sustainable development up to a certain point. Um, by creating conscience about uh, the interdependence among species and their environment. Second question, what should it focus on? I think um, the focus of the organization should be mainly creating alliances with other youth organizations, including scouts obviously, uh, but opening up to other organizations and um, helping young people by assessing their projects, their environmental projects, and that way uh, these people can feel empowered. Which leads us to the next question, how can it inspire people? If we assess young people properly and they have all the information that they need to carry their projects out, they feel powerful, they feel that they can actually change the world and I think that's how they can be actually inspired and motivated to go on. And number four, is it worth pursuing the work? Absolutely. And it's even written down here. <laughs> yes, you should continue. We should continue to do this work. And for the slogan, well, we have two possibilities. We couldn't quite uh, agree on any. <laughs> so the first one, proposed by Australia. <laughs> Get your act together. And second one, inspired by Costa Rica. Wake up to awareness. And, well, no extra comments, just many thanks for letting us know about your organization. And, well, 
you have us and we have you and I hope we will still continue working together. That's Thank awesome. You. Awesome. Thank you. Right. My name is Tatiana and there are six of us in my patrol over there. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're from the UK, Sweden, Norway, Portugal and Mexico. Uh, okay. Um we think that sea low earth is different because it is smaller and can fo focus better on issues and that there is independence. Uh, what it should focus on smaller cases that individual people can focus on and we've said quality before quantity. We said how it can inspire people. Interesting, uh, interesting facts. Uh, YouTube videos should be done, documentaries and presentations to schools. We said it is worth pursuing. Um, we said yes it is worth carrying on with the organisation so that it can spread information and pass the message on written a slogan which is help the world one small step at a time and comments is a good talk interesting and lots of information that's it <laughs> should you undertake? Maybe in start including the information at elementary level schools? Hello, my name is Roy Barnes and I'm here visiting the Moot Camp as a visitor presentator uh, with First Nations community and I came into this booth and uh, I'm overwhelmed and enjoyed that there's an organization that is willing to put simple education on the table to inform us how to live as human beings amongst all of Creator's creations and this is a wonderful opportunity for all people to simply understand the importance of all of what the Creator created for us as human beings to live on this earth in harmony with good health, happiness, clean water, fresh air. What more important issue today than this? Thank you very much. So this canoe paddle represents your journey, your canoe. Uh -huh and the journey of this organization. You're the leader of it. Mm -hmm. So you got to direct it in a good way. Okay, so that's you. your paddle. Yeah, thank you. Here's some prayers that I just made for you uh -huh. with the environment and the four directions. Uh -huh. This is a four directional medicine pouch uh -huh. representing the four people of the world uh -huh. and the sky and the blue and the water. Uh -huh. So you can carry this in if you want to use it in this presentation, I, Roy Barnes, with Sudhita Cho, allow you to use it in the good way for you. Okay? Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You do good work. I like your approach. Oh, thank you. Hi, I'm Mike. I'm going to present um, our findings from today's activity. So today we had 12 people participate in from England, Sweden, Australia, Portugal, Mexico, Denmark, Colombia, Italy, Germany, and Bolivia. Um, we thought that Cedo Earth was unique because of the flag that uh, you have to represent yourself and because of all the volunteers which help out for free. Uh, we should feel that you should focus on the diversity of life. Uh, we feel it inspires people and you can inspire people through the enthusiasm passion that's been shown here today and with pictures of baby seals. Um, we feel that it's worth pursuing 
uh, to ensure that we survive and to help spread the message to future generations. Our slogan for this is uh, Save the World, Hug a Bee. Um, for comments, we, we drew a nice picture of a smiley face with his tongue sticking out, as you can see here. <laughs> okay, my name is Sean. There are 13 of us from the UK, which is me, Brazil, Portugal, yeah. Finland, Germany, Germany yes. Colombia, Switzerland, yeah. Canada, Honduras, yeah. Sweden, yes. and Cambridge. Sorry. So I didn't actually read really it fully. Yeah. Cambridge. Right. How is Seal of Earth unique? Sorry, Seal of Earth unique. They want to unite all living things as an organisation. We feel that's quite unique. What should it focus on? Uh, making all organisations work in together for the environment. We feel that there's a lot of organisations out there trying to do similar things. We feel that it sh you should be able, as an organisation, you should come together to try and make a difference. What is of working almost in parallel with each other? Mm -hmm. um, how can it inspire people? Um, more information for the people hosting events. Um, for example, in the UK there is something called Movember, and it's uh, about um, men's, I think it's men's cancer, and it started off just by growing a beard during Mo no November, and it's now quite a national event. Everybody each year does it at work, where it was one person three or four years ago. So starting off so something small, something unique, building it up for work. Um, what are the challenges? Working together, not competing, um, and involving people. Um, our slogan, you on. <laughs> would you like to, since it was your... Saving a bee a day keeps the hell my get on the way. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> we should have the life Pretty good, thank you. and I live in a mountain in, in a mountain region of central Mexico, the Mexican highlands. And actually I live in a basin, the mm. basin of Mexico. In ancient times it was a lake and now it only have uh, well mountain ranges, uh, forests and uh, I think that's all central Mexico. Ah, great. <laughs> Aqui não tem uma empresa que recolhe o lixo pela manhã e à noite ela, ela leva e durante as atividades na comunidade, né, no bairro, faz limpeza assim periodicamente, todos os sábados, recolhe-se o lixo, coloca-se num determinado local e há uma empresa que faz a reciclagem, eles têm lá o mecanismo de reciclar. E aí, só, só pegamos e entregamos. Does anybody want, else want to share? Uh. Yeah. Um, like, it's like when you buy a bottle of something like <coughs> some water, you, you pay a bit more. Um, it's not optional, you have to do it. And you can go to the store and return the bottles and you get the money back that you pay more. So instead of throwing out the bottles, people return them to the store and get the money back. Mm -hmm.
go to the stores. Mm. Yeah. Like the, the beers, the bottle of the again. beers. Right. Yeah, they just clean it. Clean it and yeah. use them again. Yeah, we need to clean it the plastic ones. Mm. So do you carry your own bag when you go shopping? Now it's starting to be more popular. Uh, especially because in some stores we started paying for the plastic yeah. bags. Mm. Mm -hmm. We do not drink it, we buy bottles. So we produce a lot of pollution, a lot of waste. And for Why? The water is not drinkable? No, no it's it really good. It's really good. It's one of the best waters all over the world. But the Italians do not drink it. They, the they, buy, they buy uh, bottle, bottles of water at the markets. So they don't trust the local water or? Where we are allowed and participate from this ten countries, but gather together with the same same goal. We are from Angola. Who is Angola? <laughs> Portugal. A uh, two. Greece. Italy. <laughs> Italy. <laughs> Luxembourg. Mexico. <laughs> Norway and Denmark. Right? Where's Denmark? Denmark, okay. where's the Danish? Ah, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, the presenters uh, was very good. Uh, the environment was really clear. Uh, how is uh, CLO or uh, unique? Well, we can we can start in a local level and then with our with our example, with our own example, spread a good and ecological habit between uh, among our communities. And it is very inclusive to, to gather all the living species in the same logo, you know, the, the inclusive the inclusive stuff. Um, what should it focus on? Uh, we, we have a little bit example. we have uh, examples. Uh, we must focus on children and young people. Uh, the environmental education uh, at the school level and, and not so formal level like scouting or plays is very important to foster that kind of behavior. Um, we, we, we must foster games and activities related with thematics of environment protection and ecology. Uh, how can it inspire the people? Uh, well, we, we must bring together people so they can have activities that encourage them to the protection of our natural environment and saying that it's important the protection of the environment for uh, the all the species uh, 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 botanical animal or and even our our species as, as homo sapiens to say to say so <laughs> uh, what are the challenges uh, the, sh uh, the, the most important challenge is a common agreement of us is to change the ideas of people it is not so easy to to change uh, a common behavior, a culture of a community. Uh, to give people a good reason uh, to change habits and to uh, a pretty uh, rough, a rough challenge will be to reach the people outside the urban areas. I think, uh, well, I, I think we are all in common from urban areas like big cities, towns, but urban as well. But how can we reach uh, people and children in rural areas or in communities so far from the big cities and our slogan is uh, we have an agreement and our slogan will be big things have small beginnings that's so, all so oh that's very change nice most start with us uh -huh. and then spread the word it's most it's, it's, it's the more it's, it is more important to, to, to do the things to give to give an example rather than to say or to uh, you know posters and that mm -hmm. Oh, and how was the workshop? Well, we also think we have an agreement that the game was effective to pass the message and we love all the dynamics that be, be outside in the field. <laughs> no, no, not at the same time you know, under the tent. Yes. I, I think so. Well. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much, everyone. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Hyman. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs>